Well, it's always exciting times when Nintendo gives us real information on Nintendo Switch 2. And we have a couple pieces of news here directly from the president of Nintendo, Shintaro Furukawa, who actually did talk about the Nintendo Switch 2. Oh, and he gave us some exciting details. He also agreed with something that I've been talking about for a long time uh, about how if they did decide to unveil something, it would wouldn't impact holiday sales. Uh, these are his words, not just mine. So this is pretty crazy. And also, we have a new data mine of Nintendo's playtest that revealed a couple of features as well for Nintendo Switch 2. So look, you guys could tell me that you're tired of Switch 2 content. And you know what I tell you? Too freaking bad because Nintendo's giving us information, everyone. If you're enjoying all the Switch 2 stuff and you want to tune into our podcast tonight and everything else, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Let's go ahead and dive right in because, hey, Nintendo dropped this document, all right? This document uh, was from their financial meeting yesterday. This is where they actually met with investors. And we have this future outlook section that I find to be really interesting. So this is an update to when they originally told us that there was obviously new hardware coming years ago. And it says here, you know, you see value added services, Nintendo account coming forward from the Switch to the integrated hardware software successor to Nintendo Switch. Now here's what it says in this document. These are Shintaro Furukawa's words. Until Nintendo Switch, there was no easy way to have consumers purchase and gameplay histories carry over across platform generations. As a result, our relationship with the consumers was interrupted when a new system was purchased. The introduction of Nintendo account made it possible to tie consumers' history to their personal account, enabling Nintendo to maintain a continuous relationship with the consumers across platform generations. We have, we have communicated that we plan on making an announcement regarding the successor to the Nintendo Switch during this fiscal year. This is not the announcement. They're just reminding you that they have an announcement for the platform coming up. We believe that it is important for Nintendo's future to make use of Nintendo account and carry over the good relationship that we have built with the over 100 million annual playing users on Nintendo Switch to a successor. Thus, we will make Nintendo Switch Online a service based on a Nintendo account available on the successor to Nintendo Switch. And what's exciting about this, of course, is they, we've had virtual console dating all the way back to the Wii. So Nintendo's been trying to bring us classic games ever since the Wii. But every generation, be it Wii, Wii U, DS, 3DS, and Switch, they've had to reset the library every single time. Technically, on Wii U, you could port over the Wii one and boot it in Wii mode. It was very finicky, but essentially the Wii U, like if you're just on the Wii U section of the system, you couldn't access that content. You had to repurchase it. They had to re-add the stuff. It was very finicky. For the first time in Nintendo's history, their classic library, their NSO features are forward compatible. So that means day one on Nintendo Switch 2, you are going to have access to all that classic games and all the value add that they've already put into the Nintendo Switch online service. Maybe even the music app he doesn't bring up the music app being added to switch to here but i would venture to guess that that app might be coming to switch to at some point but here's the thing for a cow wasn't done when we go back to this document and we scroll down we see this this is this is huge nintendo switch software will also be playable on the successor to nintendo switch Furthermore, Nintendo Switch software will also be playable on the successor to Nintendo Switch. In addition to being able to play Nintendo Switch software they currently own, consumers will be able to choose their next purchase from a broad selection of titles released for Nintendo Switch. Further information about the successor to Nintendo Switch, including its compatibility with Nintendo Switch, I explained today, will be announced at a later date date uh and then if you go down there's no more uh um, this just talks about how they're utilizing their cash and where all their money's going to building assets and strengthening the company and building their new headquarters and all that stuff and also in there uh, we got confirmation of something brazil noted that nintendo had started a third party initiative uh to get more games coming over and in this document it actually also confirms that nintendo is working on a third party initiative to get a bunch of games over so uh yeah basically brazil looks like he's on fire speaking of 
uh, PH Brazil. He did mention uh, that since Nintendo didn't put the clarification in there, that this does include physical backwards compatibility. So uh, while well, that's not coming directly from Nintendo, Nintendo just says it will be backwards compatible. Technically, if you're backwards compatible both ways, you would just call it backwards compatible. You wouldn't have to clarify that. So you can argue Nintendo did confirm that, but just to clarify, Brazil that said it does include physical backwards compatibility. So that's also really exciting. Here's the thing. Uh, Nintendo didn't just leave it to that document to tell us what's up. They also went ahead and jumped out on Twitter. A lot of you guys have already seen this tweet. Uh, here's it in Japanese. Here it goes. So this is for Akawa at today's corporate management policy briefing. We announced that Nintendo Switch software will also be playable on the successor to Nintendo Switch. Nintendo Switch Online will be available on the successor to Nintendo Switch as well. Further information about the successor to Nintendo Switch, including its compatibility with Nintendo Switch, will be announced at a later date. So just re-clarifying all the stuff we went over. But we're not done because Furukawa had more to say. In this document here over on a Japanese news website, there are, is a quote in here from Furukawa that says the following. <laughs> We do not believe the reveal of the Nintendo Switch successor will affect the sales of the Nintendo Switch. Guys, I've been telling you that this whole time, that I don't think Nintendo actually thinks it's going to impact the sales of Nintendo Switch in any way possible. But, you know, a lot of you guys disagree. A lot of you guys think there is something to be had here. Now, I'm going to say this whole time that I don't think that is anything we need to worry about. But we actually have some additional details thanks to a data mine of the Nintendo playtest. You can see here uh, over here on the uh, Gaming Leaks and Rumors Reddit, NSO data mining reveals 4K resolution option, which we already kind of knew that based on a lot of other information and leaks out there. And support for mesh shaders. So Blue Sky user Watertune is data mined 4K resolution instructions and support for the mesh shaders from the latest Nintendo Switch online playtest software. Since Switch hardware does not support mesh shaders, this is just another breadcrumb leading to Switch 2. Uh, Necro Felipe also mentions it, and as we load up Blue Sky here, you're going to see uh, what confirms it. Now, uh, in case you're wondering here, mesh shaders are a new geometry pipeline that replaces vertex shader stage with two new programmable stages, the object shader stage and the mesh shader stage. Long story short for how this actually functions, mesh shaders can output triangles by themselves, avoiding a trip through memory. It becomes a massive performance saver over the vertex shader system. Uh, big thing to also remember here is that this capability was added with the 2000 series of uh, NVIDIA graphics cards. So this is a technology that just wasn't even available to even use on Nintendo Switch and the Tegra. So uh, obviously if they're basing it on Ampere or higher Lovelace, uh, that's gonna have mesh shader support. Most all modern, I should say most, all modern GPUs have mesh shader support. So it just helps modernize Nintendo. Uh, not really a shocking thing, but still important. So that's a lot of information brought to you guys here, both from Data Mines and from Shintero Furukawa. And this is just my reminder that, you know, I, I, get a, I get a lot of flack at the channel for making a lot of Switch 2 content, and I totally get it. Obviously, I don't think I'm going to get a ton of flack over this one. This is Nintendo talking about Switch 2, but... What I will say is uh, the more we find out about this system, the more a lot of the rumors and reports we talked about over the last year especially uh, seem to be coming true. We've been talking about backwards compatibility and rumors around it and leaks and all that for literally the last year. I think I've got like five or six videos on it. Turns out all those videos were correct. Uh, all those insiders were correct. The information was correct. Uh, that is a big deal. It, it just helps you know, vilify my ability to keep covering this stuff because it turns out that a lot of stuff ends up coming true. I know we talk about Nintendo Switch Online. We never had a specific rumor or report about it. We kind of assumed Nintendo Switch Online would be forwards compatible. It is a paid subscription service, the first one in Nintendo history. Uh, so there is that. Uh, and on top of that, they already knew Nintendo accounts would be forward compatible because Nintendo said that. But technically, they didn't confirm NSO years ago. That's, that's a confirmation today. But uh, that's still really nice to see. It also fixes a problem. Nintendo's had resetting that classic library. It just makes the Switch 2 an easy decision to buy. Uh, if you own a Switch 1, there's not really a reason not to get Switch 2 because you don't got to worry about losing anything, at least as far as we're aware. Obviously, we don't know about individual game save data and any weird particulars that could happen there. We're going to end up messing up our Animal Crossing, New Horizon Islands, our Splatoon 3 data. Will that get messed up? Obviously, we have Cloud Save Backup. Does that just seamlessly cross over and bring it over? Are there performance boosts to games? A whole lot of stuff we don't know. That is information that, again, Shintaro Furukawa said that they would be revealing at a future date, and they still plan 
plan to have an announcement about the Nintendo Switch successor this fiscal year, and they do think that the announcement won't affect Switch sales, which I think is quite curious. While I'm staying on Team 2025, it's very obvious that they still could reveal it this year because Nintendo's not worried about it affecting sales. Uh, when Shintaro Furukawa is coming out and saying that he's not worried about it affecting sales, that lets you know that the holidays aren't really a reason for them not to reveal it it's just when do they want to reveal it they've already entered the next stage and if we think about it the first stage was saying the system's on its way right there will be uh, an announcement coming later the next stage is telling us a couple features about the system which is what they just did yesterday and next up we'll be revealing the system and then after that's going to be that marketing campaign and the games and everything else and all that in between so uh the next stage is the reveal that's what I fully expect to be the next thing out of Nintendo's mouth. And uh, again, I'm on Team 2025 for this. I My gut is telling me January. My heart is saying, don't make any bets. March 31st, 2025. Uh, but you know what? If there's some of you out there still holding on to Team 2024, those words from Furukawa have to be the biggest confidence boost you have yet. That if you're thinking the Game Awards, if you're thinking later this month, like Nintendo just said, it doesn't, they don't think it's going to hurt sales, then why not reveal it later this month? So uh, a lot of stuff out there. But I, I want to thank you guys for tuning in and sticking with me on this journey, guys. I'm getting kind of emotional talking about this because uh, this is my first Nintendo system that I've ever actually got to cover leading into you know it being revealed and launched i didn't get to do that with switch i didn't get to do that with wii u or 3ds or any of the rest of my first time doing this and having a huge community here with me like-minded nintendo fans i didn't have people to talk about with this stuff growing up so uh this is just man i'm so happy right now uh thank you for akawa dropping the w's over the last uh, couple of days i am nathaniel rebel jets from nintendo prime and i'll catch you in the next video